Welcome back, watch fans. Today, I'm gonna to do something a little bit different. I'm going to review a tool kit. This is going to be the Maxwell Watch Battery Service Kit. Now, normally I don't review tools. There's no reason why I shouldn't. I've just been reviewing watches, but I was pretty excited by this. Now, I just wanna be really clear. The, per the place I got this from was Esslinger.com. They are not paying me. They haven't asked me to do this. Uh, I paid full price for this. Uh, they don't even know I'm doing this, but I may send them a link afterwards. Um, when I first got it, and I'll show a picture of the ad on the website. When I first got it, I thought to myself, gosh, you know, $99, um, that's kind of a lot for some watch batteries. But after I actually got it and looked at everything that I got, I have to say I'm actually quite pleased. So here's some of the things that I got. Uh, and I'll go through these, a whole bag of goodies, and then essentially uh, a dozen different kind, more so, yeah, a dozen different kinds of batteries. And I'll put a complete list at the top uh, so you can see what it came with. Uh, it also came with the Pro Series Tough Store Parts Organizer. Uh, now, when you would first look at this, um, it, you know, they, they don't mention anything about this on the Esslinger website, but it's actually made out of metal. I got it right here. It's actually made out of metal with hardened plastic top and good solid drawers. So you're actually getting your money's worth with that. Just these batteries alone. I know you can get these all day long on Amazon and eBay. Uh, the cheap, cheap ones made, you know, usually from China. Uh, these are all made in Japan and they are high quality batteries. So as a, um, I guess I'm technically called a watchmaker, although I've never actually made a watch. I've repaired and rebuilt many watches and I've made some Franken watches. Uh, but as a watch repair person, I would want someone to know that I am using quality parts. And so these Japanese batteries are about as good as you're, you're ever gonna get. Um, very high quality. Uh, you are getting what you pay for in these. Uh, the other item that it came with was the uh, Maxwell Button Battery Cross Reference Guide, which is pretty fantastic. So it's it's actually a mat. Um, I've got it here, but you know it's too big to see. Uh, but I'll put a picture of it right in the screen just so you'll you'll have it anyways. It basically tells you all the different batteries. And what's really nice is that it cross references all the different versions from all the other makers, right? Because this is one thing that always bothers me. I always get these batteries and it's got some other ID on it. I have no idea what it is. And I'm expected to kind of figure out um, what it is and find a replacement. So then I have to go on Amazon and end up buying them. But you've got them all here. Like, I've, I don't know how many LR44s I've had or any of these others, but this is a fantastic chart. And it's also a pad, like I've got one here, which I see a lot of other people using, you know, they don't own, I don't own the rights to it. So everybody can use this, but this is my pad. I prefer this, but this is an equally perfect pad to use if you're working on watches. So before I go any further, I want to just, uh, I guess, talk about the price, right? So $99, and you'll see with everything that I got here, it really makes it worthwhile. Like I would say probably the parts organizer tray, maybe $20. I would say this is probably another, another 20 bucks because they're made in Japan. I mean, if you try and source these separately from Maxwell, you'll see uh, that they're expensive. Now I'm gonna open these and I'll I'll just kind of just dump it all out and go over them one at a time. Um, put it off to the side. <clears throat> but uh, this is definitely worth it. If you are looking for a kit that is going to solve, uh, you wanna get into watch repair, right? This is it. This is fantastic. I mean, I should probably go uh, in order of how you might use it. So, you know, one of these balls, right? Maybe three, $4 shipped. For those who don't know what this is, this is how you open case backs, screw screw down case backs when you don't want to um, use one of these other tools, right? So it's uh, this is perfect. It's it's really rough. You basically go down. I don't have one. I've got this Horex here, and, and it's a pop off case. But you would basically do that, and you'd spin it, and it would take it off. Works really well. Now, if I you know what? Let me get one here. Do I have one? Yes, I do. 
Let's see if I can get it to work. This one's probably really tight. This is a uh, um, Festina that needs work, but let's see if that works. Oh gosh, it actually works. I've never even used one of these before. I've always just used the thing, but look at that. I mean, it's got some human gunk on it. This isn't mine, I bought it used, I'm gonna fix it. But there it is, that actually worked. Oh, you didn't see that. All right, sorry. So yeah, I can tighten it there. This is fantastic. I was super impressed. This was originally put on by the manufacturer and I just removed it with the ball. So perfect. Uh, next thing is this, which is the watch case opener. And so as you know, you can adjust it and those little bars allow you to go and clamp around and, and open it as well. It gives you a little bit more leverage, much better than the ball for some of these um, uh, really hard cases. Uh, I've got a, a watch press, uh, a really professional one, so I'll probably never use this. But this is great because it doesn't leave uh, any any marring. This one might, if you slip, you've now scratched your case back. But still, perfect, something you definitely need. Case holder, fantastic. This is a good one. It's got nylon uh, bits, adjustable. When you take the when you take the case off, you need something to put it on. You put this down. You put the watch on it and now you can service it. So this is fantastic. And you guys don't need me to open that. You know what that looks like. <clears throat> uh, this is a spring bar toolkit. I'll open this just so you can see it. The picture's not that great. But this allows you to, to remove the spring bars. And it's a nice one. It, it's actually legitimately a nice one. It even has a little measurement on it. There's a little thing to poke, poke through. Um, and you know, I, I've got all these tools already. But this one, um, this is actually a really nice one. It, it's it's dedicated just for this, removable uh, bits, and there's probably some extras in here. Yep, uh, this is this is the the one for removing the small. Uh, what are you gonna call it? Right, you know, on the side here, and then this one is for actually removing moving it uh, this way, the spring bars like that. So this is this is fantastic. Um, of course, you get Esslinger tweezers, and they are non-magnetic, which is very important for those who have never actually worked on watches before. You do not want to get magnetic tools. You want anti-magnetic. So you can be sure if you get it from Esslinger.com, it's going to be anti-magnetic because it's a watch repair store. Uh, most importantly, right, if you're going to do uh, sort of next level stuff, which, um, which is also important, you need a good set of screwdrivers. If I can open this. And uh, I've never seen these. I've got a whole bunch of set of screwdrivers, so I'm interested to see what the Esslinger ones look like. Um, these are actually quite decent. I have a set of these, a little bit nicer, but these are good. You can even see that they're already oiled. They're also anti-magnetic, and they even come with extra bits. These are very important. You know, you don't want to use the wrong tool for the wrong screw because you will ruin the screw and you will also ruin your tools. So this is fantastic. This is an excellent kit. This itself here is probably another $20. I would say this is another uh, five to eight, um, probably another $10, $10. Um, these tweezers, probably four. Uh, this definitely at least five. So when it adds up, I'm, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're really ahead if you were to buy these things separate. They're, you're getting a significant discount by buying all these together. And so this might look like a little cheese knife or whatever, you know, what have you, but this is actually for when you need to remove these types of case backs. Um, you have to be very careful because you can cut yourself, but you can also damage it. You need to look for where, I don't know if you can see, there's a little difference in what the case looks like right there at the edge. That's where you would go and, and pop it. And you know what? I might do it because I have to, I have to open this one. I want to hurt myself. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Ooh, it's gold. All right, I'm gonna take a picture of this one later. So, very pleased with this. Uh, very nice. This is definitely one of the better ones I have, and you can sharpen them. Um, this, right? They say never put your hands on the battery itself. So when you remove, I suppose you could use whatever. You could even use this, but you just want to be careful. But when you put it back always good to use something like this because it won't short, it's non-conductive, certainly not magnetic because it's a non-ferrous material, uh, and it's absolutely perfect. Um, another thing you get here too, which I'll open this up, 
There's a couple things in here. And uh, I'm actually kind of excited about this because even though I got that big fancy chart, I think I would per prefer to actually have a tool that can tell me what the different um, batteries are. And that's what this is. It is a chart. It is fantastic. You literally take the battery and you put it in whichever one is the correct size, or at least what you think the right size is going to be. And if it, if it matches up, it basically tells you what the battery size and model is. So this is fantastic. And this will have a permanent spot on the wall in my new workshop that I'm going to be building. So very pleased with this. I don't even know, I didn't even know this was a thing. Um, I'd have to say $10, right? I'm already way over hundred. Um, and some of the other things here, it comes with these inserts for, again, the, uh, the um, parts organizer box. These are for you to be able to put in little windows there so you um, know what batteries you're putting in. And of course, a little uh, microfiber cloth, which is nice too. This is Maxwell. Um, but all in all, this is a fantastic deal. And I have to say, I'm very pleased with it. It was well worth the $99. Uh, in total, shipping to my house in Tampa, 130. Uh, I know that seems like a lot, but you get all these tools, uh, the chart, full batteries. There's literally nothing else that you need other than perhaps some O-ring gaskets if you were going to do that as well. But for servicing a basic, basic servicing for a quartz watch uh, and replacing a battery, you have everything you need. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more tool reviews, please let me know. Uh, I have a bunch of tools that I can review. So uh, I have some really nice ones as well. So um, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you very much.